Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forum weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody, let's take a look again on the gold market. So gold market we're coming to the, the pattern that we discussed previously. We said that market will show more or less moderate pullback to one of the levels. Maybe we'll get the cropper. That could provide necessary uh, background, necessary uh, confidence for possible taking the short position. Recently we've got the upward performance, as I said in today's video on the forex market, that I haven't found any reasonable context for this strong pullback. Or maybe on the gold market it is not as strong but on the forex market it more or less strong compares to overall sentiment that exists in the market and previous performance among the explanations that they have found in the media is just a drop in crude oil and easing of the uh, interest rates in the united states so no other reasons exist you can see also rebound on the stock market well uh, when I see uh, this explanation and such a performance, especially on this on the stock market, it seems that something else stands behind it. Because we see drop of the crude oil every day and actually very often. And it's the same we could say about the interest rates, but we do not see the sharp reversal on the forex market, for instance, when this has happened. So uh, maybe this is shaking the boat before the European Central Bank meeting, maybe some other news exists. Uh, it's difficult to say currently, but uh, I have just some feeling that uh, the gut feelings that uh, it's not just well, some different reasons stands behind it. It's not because of the drop of the price of the crude oil. Whatever it will be, currently we stand at the moment when we have to make the decision because it's very comfortable area for this. Um, if we'll take a look at our pattern that we have. On the follow time from chart, this is butterfly. Although the overall pullback here was uh, stronger than we suggested, market actually has passed through the all resistance levels. But at the current moment, it keeps butterfly valid. It's because it stands below the top of the butterfly and still stands inside of the confluence. It has not been broken. And uh, from that standpoint, it is really very per actually perfect combination to make the decision on the short entry. Uh, from the technical point of view, you will have to place very tight stop. You you need to place stop just above the butterfly. It's a very small risk that you could take, making the bet on a possible downside starting with the downside action. This is the first moment. At the same time, some tricky moments exist as well. Uh, so first of all, as I said, we still do not have yet the grubber in place, so it just could be formed. But if market will close above the MACD, we will we will get no grubber. Um, so this is first moment on the on, in general the upward performance also strands not really weak so it's more or less well some frosty action here exists and on the hourly chart you could recognize a kind of the double bottom or something of that sort that exists here yes we could get proper and maybe tower action will start but still this is type of risk that we have so we will have to make the decision from the one point of view this is very comfortable and pretty nice area for taking the short position because butterfly is valid, we could get the grubber on the decision making from the central bank. It might be book, profit booking and the market participants start to close positions that have been open for 75 base point move from the European Central Bank, which also could trigger downward action. Um, from the other point of view, we have all these risky moments that we have just discussed. And uh, well, you need to decide whether it's acceptable to you or not. By my point of view is that since in, the, in if market would stay somewhere in the middle of this range, I will think twice before taking position because risk was too much. But at the current moment, well, risk very small. And from that standpoint, it is major argument in favor of the of trying to take the position, at least maybe with the half of the volume on some part, because, well, temptation is really significant that if market start dropping and completion, the power flights would be a really great trade. Uh, with very small risk. So that's the major argument currently. Uh, but um, I don't want to uh, press on you, so you just uh, think by yourself, make the decision, and let's see what will happen on the central bank meeting today.